Does the 90 Day Fiancé show a happily ever after? The celebrity Angela Deem discloses that Michael Al Sammy has been using his fans as a means of making money ever since he broke up with her in February of 2024. Since they first connected on Facebook in 2017, Michael, who was from Nigeria, has been in a relationship with Angela. Being of different ages was the most difficult obstacle that Michael and Angela had to overcome in their relationship. Angela was filled with apprehension because she was concerned that Michael would abandon her in favor of another person when he arrived in the United States. When Angela's husband Michael went missing from her home in Hazelhurst, her worst nightmare came true when he disappeared. It is now Angela's intention to have their marriage declared null and void and to deport Michael. For the purpose of preventing Angela from having their marriage annulled and sending Michael back to Nigeria, Michael has initiated a fundraising campaign in order to be able to gather money for his legal bills. But Angela is of the opinion that Michael's GoFundMe campaign is a hoax. For example, she uploaded a reel that was created by her blogger buddy John Yates, in which he shared a screenshot of a post that was written by another blogger regarding Michael. A screen capture of the fundraising campaign, which has now raised more than $51,000, was displayed. The blogger noted that Michael is still accepting donations, despite the fact that his intention was to raise $25,000 for his cause. According to what Yates stated in the caption of his photo, more and more people are starting to wake up. In addition, the blogger said that Michael continues to accept fresh donations, despite the fact that he has already surpassed his goal by more than twice as much, which gives the appearance that he is attempting to take advantage of his supporters in order to get their money. Angela is trying to convey to the audience that Michael is a greedy type of person. The screenshot that she used to highlight a piece of Michael's GoFundMe description revealed that the fundraiser had not been initiated by Michael himself. She also utilized the screenshot to highlight the section. The fact that Mary Kay is the organizer and that she is a blogger who manages the YouTube channel Kiki and Kivitz is highlighted in a note that is included in the description section. Michael claimed that he had approached Mary Kay with the request to assist him in establishing the campaign. Fans have been given the assurance that he will receive directly all of the cash that are raised through the campaign and that this is the only campaign page that he has created. While Angela was pointing to the word directly in Michael's note, she added a sticker that depicted an emoji of extreme shock. In light of the fact that Michael has stated that the money is going to him, Angela must be under the impression that he intends to use it for his own personal expenses rather than to pay his attorney. The friends of Angela, including Lauren Bravarnik and Scott Wern, were attempting to spread vile accusations that Michael was involved in the incident. Both Lauren and Scott informed their followers that Michael had used the money from the GoFundMe campaign to purchase a Mercedes. Despite the fact that Michael was seen in one of his photographs posing with a red Mercedes, he promised his followers that the vehicle was actually owned by a buddy. Angela is envious of Michael since he has been able to raise such a substantial sum of money in such a short period of time. The fact that so many people are on Team Michael despite Angela's constant accusations that he is a con artist is a clear indication of how popular he is and illustrates the extent of his appeal. Angela does not need to persuade her fans because they have witnessed her verbally abusing him in front of the camera for such a long period of time.